Social media sensation Lasizwe Dambuza has gained immense fame and coined it big just through the use of internet more, especially on YouTube. The star's groundbreaking work of off late has taken him to the UK, Namibia, Lesotho, the USA, and I did say the UK, yeah. <laughs> I, I said that already, yeah. So he began his journey back in 2017, has landed a number of accolades from his comical yet interesting videos, and he's a fictional character, Noma Trequency. <laughs> has landed him at the right spot. I don't, I don't know about Noma Trequency. I need to oh learn about Noma Trequency. Um, yeah, this is quite, it's, it's very really interesting to, listen, to watch on social So, Lasiza yeah. joins us in studio. Uh, Lasiza Dambuza, welcome to Weekend Dawn. Thank you for having me. You guys are such a vibe. I love here. Oh, thank you thank so much. Thank you. No I... much chicken see. What? No <laughs> much chicken see. Kiki Leto Smith. Okay. You know, okay. Get it together. Okay. So, so how would you describe, how did No Much Trickency come about actually? And like, how would you say um, you managed to, because let's use it as an example of someone who's embraced the fourth industrial revolution yeah. mm. and is literally making it big because of his YouTube sensational videos and just how people have received him. Mm. So No Much Frequency came about a, I was watching social media and I saw this other guy from the States doing like what mm. I'm, I would do. And I saw how angry the character was and I channeled it. So I also incorporated South African mothers because yeah. you know, like our black mom, like there's only a split second where she's happy, which is getting something from oh. you. So in okay. every moment, Jay, if your shoelaces are untied, if you're walking in the street, if you're asking for something in the mall, she's angry. Okay, so I, I've seen some of the videos. I just yeah. didn't know that the, the name and the character was Noma Trukensi. Okay, yeah. okay, now, now I'm here. Ego. Now I'm here. Now yes, I'm with you. you. Are up to speed. Now I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Lassie. <laughs> I mean, so you are obviously young. Yeah. And you've been received quite well. You've got a lot of endorsements on your side too. Um, <laughs> I mean, how's this journey been for you? Not knowing what the final picture looks like because we don't actually know what the fourth industrial revolution is all about. But yeah. I mean, you're, so, you're making strides and, and, and you're earning money for it too. <laughs> I mean, um, the journey hasn't been easy. Yeah. Uh, when I started off making uh, Nomad Frequency and these videos, people didn't understand what I was doing yeah. online. I was seeing this boy wearing wigs and they were like, uh, just quit. And I'm like, you guys don't know what I'm up to. You guys <laughs> really don't know. And funny enough, um, I continued um, doing what I, I do. And I earned like so many accolades. I mean, I was working with Game on this big day to yeah. compare thing and went across South Africa. And it's just, yo, like even now when we have so many things I can talk about, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> first sign, you first signed the contract. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah no, it's signed, it's done. Oh! It's up on, on YouTube, it's doing well. Mm. It's two reality shows that I have now in my bag, so yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at your initial aim growing up. I mean, like, what did you actually want to do? How far actually, from it are you? I actually really wanted to be famous. Like, oh, to be good. very, very honest with you, I really wanted to see myself in front of the screen. And my sister actually validated that dream, Kanye, uh, when she became famous. And I mean, but she was famous for the scandal. She was dating Mandla. She wow, got a Lamborghini. I see, I see. And I'm like, girl, you know what? I inspire, you know, and she inspired me to, to be who I am today. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we, we all do different things, but yeah. she dared to be herself. She, she did. And, mm. and that's the gift that everyone needs to have. Did, were you getting a lot of support from your family structures when you were chasing this, this mm. dream? Or they were, think, were they thinking, just go to school, <laughs> just, you know, study mom, mom, and you know, you know, get a real job? Mom, let me tell you about black, black moms. <laughs> be like, listen, this thing is not working. <laughs> You're not going to fill this fridge. Me, I want my child to buy me a house, buy me a car. You're going to buy me a house and a car. How with, with you making videos and being famous? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, the narrative is that you become famous, you spend so much money, yeah. and then you become broke, you blow and it, you yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> she was just like, that's not my child. There's no you know? longevity yeah, there. There's no longevity there, but um, with my siblings, um, my sister did support me, uh, Kanye, in everything I did, um, and Zonke. Everyone was just very in, in, inclusive in... Ooh, the English is now yes, coming out. Yes. Oh, come <laughs> <forward>. <laughs> they were inclusive in zagaring my career, you know. Mm. It really is... I'm, I'm very glad of my support structure. I'm happy for it. What was the tour, the international tour, like for you? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, my first international trip was actually in Belgium. Um, I was shooting my show in Durban and I yeah. got a call from another channel because I don't know if I'm allowed yeah, to mention Yeah, Thank you for that, yes. You know, and then they were like, uh, we heard you've got your visa. We are going tomorrow. I'm like, um, 
Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. And then, literally, I was alone on the plane. Um, I got there, I met the international team, and I had to, like, mm. literally be up to speed with everything. And the, and the conference was happening on the day I landed. Wow. And then they had to, like, I had to, let's see the makeup, this, let's see the that, that, that. And then coming back again, I was still shooting the game thing, and I was coming back and doing the data compare thing, and, and you know, it became sporadic. And then after that, Paris came up with the YouTube thing, and, like, wow, and then America, <laughs> and then you're gonna see my show. You better yeah. watch my show, y'all better watch my show. Yeah, yeah, so, so tell us day. tell yes. us about the show. Yes. Plug it, what, what, show, what's the date? My show is on, is on season two now. Okay. Mm. Um, you get to see my day-to-day -day life, how um, Data Campaign came up about the meeting, the initial meeting, me coming up, going to America. Oh, Monday, I'm going to America Monday, guys. You're gonna see I'm going to America. Yeah. It's fantastic, you're gonna see what happened in America. I was alone. In America. I have this thing of traveling alone. I see. I must write a book on how to travel yeah. alone. Let's see, it's the best thing you can do. I know, but you Honestly, can go, you can No, go. you I make got... so many friends. I literally. Did. I definitely it's... made so oh many my friends. Gosh. But I got bored because like I like I, I like having like maybe like an assistant to help me take pictures and all, but now you have to say maybe you should have a call out oh. for an assistant who wants to travel with Lassie. So that could be your next show. I mean, we've got a, tr a clip actually about uh, one of your shows. Let's uh, take a look at this. <laughs> we'll see. Playing soccer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. How was this? This was that heritage uh, game. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about this. This was like a heritage uh, soccer yeah. game. It was done for charity, etc. What, what was the experience like? Because um, you were playing with quite a lot of I stars. Know, I was playing with all my... Like, for a moment, I was like, B, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> like, Mama made it. <laughs> I'm a celebrity because I was playing with Dr. Kumalo, Lucas Khatebe, um, Stephen Pinar. Wow. Yeah. Um, quite you was that tall white man that used to play. Matthew, Matthew Booth. Booth. Matthew, you, <laughs> you, 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 you. Even with, on the celebrity, on my team, I read Casper Nyoves, Nak Music, Zola, uh, Zekona. Uh, not oh, Zex Zex wasn't there this year, okay. Zex, Zex was late. Okay. See, when you were late, you didn't come. Pop Hops, oh, myself, I'm oh. a celebrity now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's just really how crazy how social media could just change my life and now I could sit with people like them and play soccer with them. And it just shows that with, with what's happening in the world, how are we changing? I saw you guys were talking about the banks and how they're yeah. removing people and now they're making it digitizing. It's just how we need to adapt because mm. the world is really becoming technology-based. What yeah. would you say is one of the, the biggest challenges that you face? I mean, this is uncharted waters. Yeah. So you literally, every step you take is, is paving it's the way for someone experience. else. Through. So the, the biggest challenges I face is the old OGs in the game, um, sometimes they feel like you're stepping into like their territory, you're trying to be like them, but you're basically not. You're trying to pave your own way, but getting into the game, because like the game, there's so much that everyone can eat yeah. from the game, but you know, everyone has their little corner and their little thing they hog on to, and it's literally just open up the industry. It just goes to that. Like, I just genuinely opened up my own industry. I went and created videos instead of went, going to auditions mm. and being a TV presenter, yeah. which I have been a TV presenter. Yeah. But now I just said, uh, guys, I'm a vlogger. You switched I, it up. A yeah. revolution. Yeah. 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 Revolutionize yeah. it, babes. Quick question before we let you go, Lassie. Uh -huh. In terms of reality TV, yes. do you have to put a lot together, yeah. as in like scripted, or is it really, really reality well, TV? Well, with my show, I don't know about other shows. Yeah. My show <laughs> yes. is the most real reality show ever. I mean, with my show, we've tackled my daddy issues, we've tackled. Um, my family belonging, my sexuality, my homophobic brother. Um, and it's just when, when we do content, so what we do is that, okay, let's see, yeah. what are you doing this week? I'm meeting up with my brother, I need to meet up, I've got a meeting like this and this and this, and they follow you. Whatever unfolds, unfolds on mm. TV. It just so, happens. Because I did, when, 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 when I was signing the contract for season one, I said, guys, I don't want it to be script. I don't want it to be, oh, we're going on a private jet, darling, like other shows. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Oh, the shade begins. Oh, That's when we end it all. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> for joining joking, us. I'm joking, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. That was Lassizue Tambuza <laughs> talking to us about his work, his reality show, which is actually real. <laughs> And his adventures about his travels all over Europe and the UK, etc. Again, thank you for joining us. And really America. Appreciate it. <laughs> and America. Time now for a quick ad break. We shall be back with your headlines. Stay tuned.